Thank you for this uh, very kind invitation, and I very much appreciate to be here with Anna, whom I respect a lot, and uh, I even admire for her courage and uh, her leadership. Uh, and let me tell you that uh, three years ago, this would have been impossible. It would have been absolutely impossible. Uh, three years ago, we uh, were still uh, living totally apart, not only between us, but also in the broader sense of the um, region. We never uh, sat together to talk about our own problems, to talk about the future, and so on and so forth. And then I decided to visit Belgrade, 68 years after the last official visit, which was kind of uh, not easy thing to do and uh, in a very tense atmosphere. But it opened the path and then uh, the then Prime Minister Alexander Vucic came to Tirana, first official visit ever between two neighbors. And so we started uh, also in parallel uh, the so-called Berlin process. Uh, through which, for the first time in history, we found ourselves all together around the table in Berlin, uh, invited by the Chancellor, to talk about regional cooperation, and not to talk about borders and conflicts and uh, what has separated us from many, many decades. So it was not easy. And as a matter of fact, uh, there is nothing historical meeting today, which is great, because when we would meet uh, in Belgrade or in Tirana or in Berlin, it was, you know, historical pictures. Not Now it's not historical. It's boring to the point that journalists would, never, would even not be running to come and to see us how we meet. So this is the, the great side of it. Of course, we have a fundamental disagreement, as Anna said, on, uh, on Kosovo. But, again, even in this, uh, in this uh, aspect, there is a lot of improvement because there is a continuing dialogue between Belgrade and Pristina. People sit together, people talk, although they practically uh, are in a fundamental disagreement with each other, it doesn't impede to be around one table and to talk about not only this, but also many other things. And what I would see as a very positive uh, reflection of it is how much things are changing in the level of the population. So people are not anymore so much frustrated and so much uh, uh, not frightened, but reluctant to meet with each other, to go and come, to build business uh, projects, to uh, have cultural projects and so on. So it's a way to live in the Balkans which is new, uh, which is uh, fundamentally uh, in discontinuity with our culture of living the past. I remember one thing, and I don't want, uh, uh, I hope, uh, because he also was a great friend, uh, another Prime Minister of Serbia. Uh, some more years ago, we were in a, in a kind of meeting like this, and uh, also the Prime Minister of Kosovo was invited. And uh, we were in the lobby having some coffee. And when we had to walk out, they just had to cross in the, in the door. So they, it was impossible to not see each other. So it was a handshake that uh, happened. And then, I don't know how many times uh, the guy tried to tell how many journalists that this was completely completely uh, uh, coincidental, that he didn't uh, like it, but he had to get the way. So this was the time not far away. I'm talking about seven, eight, year, eight years before. So it's a completely new time. So we have agreed to disagree on one fundamental issue, but we have also agreed to work and build upon uh, 
and in the same time trying to find the way to make people live in a much more relaxed and much less tense atmosphere with each other.